Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's my great pleasure uh, and privilege to welcome Prime Minister Garibashvili uh, from uh, Georgia and our esteemed Georgian colleagues. Thank you all for being here with us for this dialogue that will take place today. And uh, we are very happy to participate in the fourth uh, Strategic Partnership Commission plenary session. Uh, and we've just had a very good bilateral meeting in which we've discussed a host of issues ranging from the economic challenges uh, to Georgia, uh, the external challenges to Georgia, uh, and uh, we ranged as far as uh, obviously the association agreement with uh, Europe and the challenge of Ukraine uh, and other issues in the region. Uh, we were going to have some very traditional Georgian dancers come in here to celebrate uh, your arrival, but regrettably the swords and nut daggers wouldn't get by the diplomatic security, so <laughs> unable to do that. But we are actually very, very pleased uh, to continue this dialogue. Uh, I've been to Georgia uh, prior to becoming Secretary of State. I look forward to visiting as Secretary of State. Uh, and we've had a very strong and important uh, relationship focused on many, many issues. But significant uh, democracy and rule of law and the transition in Georgia to your recent election. And we're very pleased now to be able to meet here in Washington and continue a conversation which has been ongoing for some period of time. It's fitting that we meet together here in the Ben Franklin room. That's Ben Franklin up behind us here. Uh, he was our first diplomat, first ambassador to uh, France. Uh, he's the father of the Foreign Service and uh, a, a really unrivaled innovator. I think you know that. Uh, the reason why he remains one of the most beloved Americans is because of uh, his frontier spirit and his openness and his ingenuity. Uh, frankly, we see that same kind of open spirit and, and innovation and frontier spirit in what you are engaged in right now in Georgia. And this year we celebrate 12 years of a strong and ever growing stronger relationship between Georgia and the United States. We made a lot of progress, but now we need to build on it. And that's what we talked about a few minutes ago and we'll continue in the discussion today. First, I want to congratulate you on Georgia's free and fair presidential election in 2013. The transparency and the openness of the process were significant, and we applaud it. You have a chance to build on these achievements by demonstrating now a level playing field during your upcoming local elections. Uh, and, and I think everybody knows that democracies benefit from strong political opposition. So we urge all sides to work constructively to advance uh, the dialogue and debate within Georgia, and that's just going to make your nation stronger. We're confident of that. We also want to reiterate U.S. support for Georgia's participation in the EU's Eastern Partnership. And we encourage Georgia to sign an association agreement with the EU later this year. Today I am announcing, uh, let me just say about that, that as we do that, as I have said about Ukraine yesterday with, uh, with uh, Secretary uh, William Haig, uh, we don't make that urging for the signing of an association as some sort of zero-sum game <clears throat> between the East and West or between us or any other party. Uh, we simply want people to be able to exercise their freedom of choice and be able to maximize their economic opportunities. And that doesn't mean that it can't also involve engagement with others, as we would hope it would, because we're involved in a global uh, trading regime and a global uh, society. And, and increasingly, uh, it is impossible for people to operate in exclusionary uh, ways. Today, uh, I am announcing additional assistance by the United States to help support Georgia's European and Euro-Atlantic vision, specifically to help Georgia achieve visa-free travel with the EU and to mitigate the hardships caused by 
borderization along the occupied territories. We also commend Georgia's progress on economic reform, and we urge the government to quickly implement its plans to spur trade and investment, including uh, with the United States. Strict adherence to rule of law and a steadfast commitment to the process will encourage the confidence of investors, and it will serve as a catalyst for integration with Europe and enhance Georgia's international reputation. We urge all Georgians to unite in looking forward and to leave the past in the past. The United States remains committed to strengthening our trade and investment with Georgia, particularly important as we pursue trade negotiations with the EU. And we also support your efforts to become a regional trade hub which will require continued infrastructure improvements and sustained regional cooperation. Our enhanced defense cooperation is ongoing, and we commend Georgia's contribution as the largest non-NATO troop contributor in Afghanistan, serving alongside United States Marines in Heldman Province, and standing ready to contribute to the Alliance's post-2014 mission. We honor the extraordinary sacrifices of Georgian soldiers and their families. And we will continue uh, to work with you to develop the capacity to care and support for your wounded. We stand by the Bucharest decision and all subsequent decisions that Georgia will become a member of NATO. The United States will work to make sure that Georgia's progress is acknowledged by all members of this year's NATO summit. We support your reconciliation efforts in, in an effort to achieve a peaceful and a just resolution to the conflicts of Georgia. The United States remains steadfast in our support for Georgia's sovereignty and territorial integrity. We continue to object to Russia's occupation, militarization, and borderization of Georgian territory and we call on Russia to fulfill its obligations under the 2008 ceasefire agreement, including the withdrawal of its forces and free access for humanitarian assistance. Lastly, and most importantly, our relationship is founded on a close connection between our people. Building on your health minister's participation in the recent Global Health Security Initiative, we look forward to sharing medical best practices in order to promote public health. The United States supports efforts to help preserve Georgia's rich cultural heritage through the U.S. Ambassadors Fund for Cultural Preservation and the International Visitor Leadership Program. Given Georgia's many achievements in just over two decades and our close and growing cooperation in a large number of areas, I am confident that our relationship will not just endure, but it's going to grow. It's going to flourish in the years to come. And as we approach the challenges ahead together, we can take confidence in what we have already achieved together. Our strategic partnership is stronger than ever, thanks in no small part to the work that we have done as part of this commission and the work that we will continue in the discussion today. So, Mr. Prime Minister, it's my great privilege to welcome you here. Thank you for being with us. We look forward to working with you as you meet the many challenges that you face and look forward to uh, growing this partnership. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dear Secretary, thank you very much. And uh, I'd like to thank you for your personal engagement and for your personal support to Georgia. Um, your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to uh, and privilege to address the uh, distinguished audience on such an important occasion at the fourth U.S.-Georgia Strategic Charter Omnibus Plenary Session in the margins of my first visit to the United States in this capacity of Prime Minister of Georgia. I am very honored to, and to uh, underline that the people and the government of Georgia are in perfect unison in considering the United States of America as our for foremost partner. From the very outset, let me express heartfelt gratitude for your unwavering commitment to the sovereignty territorial integrity, security, democratic consolidation in NATO and EU membership aspirations of my country, and your support provides a powerful stimulus to our resolve to persist in the often 
uphill but uh, honorable task of strengthening democracy, especially in our challenging region, and especially when more than 20% of Georgia territory remains under Russian occupation. Likewise, we are proud to state that Georgia has always stood adamantly next to the United States in every single situation. When a strategic decision was required to be a U.S. ally, and we're proud of those decisions. Let me reiterate that we attach critical importance to our strategic partnership with the United States, with the Charter as the main framework of our comprehensive cross-dimensional agenda of cooperation, the virtually all-encompassing nature of all the four working groups, democracy and governance, security and defense, economy and energy, and trade, and people-to-people -people and cultural exchanges do I reflect upon the range of our cooperative endeavors. Georgia-U.S. relations are being developed in a gradual and consistent manner in these four major areas. But let me step back to say that uh, we have already achieved substantial progress in all spheres of our bilateral cooperation. Well, first of all, Georgia and the United States enjoy successful cooperation in security and defense. We are actively making progress in fulfilling President Barack Obama's pledge to bolster our cooperation aimed at enhancing Georgia's defense capabilities. It is also important that we are consistently broadening scopes of our enhanced defense cooperation. United States support enables us to significantly progress in defense transformation process. In fact, NATO has been vocal in July crediting Georgia for successful defense and security reforms. And as a reliable ally and security provider, we remain firm on our full-fledged commitment to the NATO-led ISAF mission in Afghanistan, much like the post-ISAF mission. We will commence our participation in the NATO Response Force in 2015 and in 2016 with assistance of our American friends. Herewith, I would like to thank the United States for outstanding support provided to our wounded warriors. This is extremely important for us. As you know, Washington's uh, political and financial engagement was always, always critical. We thankfully recall that the United States was the first among our close friends to donate one billion U.S. dollars in aid to the people of Georgia after the August 2008 war. Furthermore, we have received a large chunk of investment of $140 million through the second MCC compact, which will be effectively spent on improving the quality of education in science, technology, engineering, and math fields. The United States' overall strong support and assistance on these and other numerous occasions continued unabated even during the financial challenges. And for, the, for that, we sincerely thank our American friends. We believe that Georgia's continued close, close consultations with the United States on the high-level trade and investment dialogue are essential for bolstering bilateral trade and investment, including the possibility of U.S.-Georgia free trade agreement. And for the end, we expect to carry, out, carry on our negotiations on the high level, and we will spare no effort to make substantial investment, advancement. Also, we hope that our American colleagues will be as swift and highly responsive to this as ever. Furthermore, we will be consistent in utilizing Georgia's outstanding potential and realistic aspiration for growth and its transformation into a regional business, trade, and logistic hub. As you know, the uh, country is blessed with exceptionally advantageous location and potential to turn into the gateway link in Europe with lucrative Chinese markets through the Caspian Sea and Central Asia regions. And we are devoted to this idea and plan to underpin these ambitions by continuous improvement of our transportation infrastructure and elimination of regulatory bottlenecks to trade via the region. Let me say that uh, USAID has always played an important role in various directions, and we welcome their latest decision to select Georgia among those 20 countries' participation in, this, in the science, technology, innovation, and partnership program. And undoubtedly, this is going to further enhance my country's uh, overall development in the vital areas. 
Let me say this offer is well noted and very much appreciated. Our people-to-people -people relations have already brought about numerous tangible outcomes, one of them being the U.S. decision to further extend the visa validity terms for various categories of Georgian citizens. Moreover, many more young people now intensively benefit from the educational uh, exchange programs, and we're extremely grateful for that. And while looking ahead, we thank our American partners for these achievements and continue to explore other potential areas of cooperation for further success. And to conclude, Mr. Secretary, I would like to express my firm confidence that our cooperation will progress further. In addition to many a common interests between our states, we are united, first and foremost, by the shared values between the two nations. And I do believe that our existing and prospective, prospective avenues of partnership are destined to succeed. Once again, thank you very much. Well, thank you very, very much, Mr. Prime Minister. If you just take one minute. Um, I appreciate, I think, our, our comments mutually dovetail, which is no surprise. And uh, I think we're on the same track. So hopefully this economic vision and the security vision that you express is something that we can flesh out a little more in the course of the the uh, dialogue that will continue this morning. Uh, let me just say that I think in my opening comments I shortchanged our relationship by 10 years. I think it's 22 years, not 12 years, um, which is more a reflection on my eyesight than on anything else. Um, but I appreciate uh, uh, very, very much your being here. I, I do look forward to getting there. I think we're trying to figure out sometime in the spring, uh, and, uh, and, and I think uh, between now and then we have some work to do, and I look forward to doing that with you. So thank you for no, thank taking you. the time to be with us today. Appreciate it. I think what we're going to do now is ask the press if they would, um, if they would uh, take their leave so that we can have the discussion that is going to follow from this, and we thank you all for being here with us.